Hi lovelies, it's me, Simply Sherry, helping you make home and entertaining simple. If you're new to my channel and you like organizing, decluttering, and packing videos, please consider subscribing. Those are the things that I do on my channel. It has been a crazy month and a half. Towards the end of August, I had guests over for a week and then we volunteered for a weekend event, which took out a lot of time for us. And then as soon as my guests left, I had one day to pack, clean the house, cook things for my husband because my daughter and I went on a 10 day trip to Prague and Budapest. If you're interested in how I packed for that, please uh, check out the iCards above. And then when we got back for two weekends, we went to a wedding in California, which was a road trip. And then we went to visit our son for parents weekend because he's in university. And then I also had guests for a week and so with all that, it is now fall break and my daughter is home for the week. So I decided to do some refreshing of small spaces in my home that is going to include the medicine cabinet in my guest bathroom and also under the sink. So check out the next video for that. And then I'm going to refresh the front porch. So I'll be doing a video for that one also. So today, let us refresh get rid of stuff, declutter, and reorganize the guest medicine cabinet. That was uh, reorganized about two years ago. I would put um, hair bands and things that we would use on a daily basis in the drawers there, but when we had a little flood in our house, we had a new vanity and that area is strictly just for overnight guests and everything else I've put in our bathrooms or in other places or decluttered. And so now I'm looking at the guest medicine cabinet and we basically don't use it. My guests don't use it. So I just want to make it prettier and maybe hopefully a little bit more functional and usable for my guests. So as you can see, this is organized, but the items in here are not really being used. I mean, maybe the first aid kit has been used a few times, so I'm gonna keep that in there. And then these containers are made specifically for medicine cabinets because they're narrow, and then they have the different um, slots where you could put different things. You can also use any type of container that's not specifically for storage, as long as it's small and it fits on the shelf. Now here I have these cups, and those have been used. I'm gonna think about if I'm gonna keep those there. These are tweezers, and since guests will use them, I will have to sanitize them every time a guest leaves. And then, as I had mentioned, this used to be kind of a launch pad for us. When we had a different vanity, there were drawers here, and we used this bathroom for different things that we would need, especially during the summer. These will go to my first aid kit. If you wanna see what that looks like, I'll put a link in the description box. Here are magnet hooks. I got these from the container store. Also, they come in different colors, but you can make your own hooks with and just glue magnet on the back. You can even use command hooks. So here I have a nail cutter. The medicine cabinet actually has a lot more space than it looks like it has because it has all this vertical space. And they have those containers now or storage units that have the heavy magnet behind it, like for nail polish and other toiletries and other bottles that you would be using in the bathroom. So look at that if you need more stuff in your medicine cabinet. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take these out. So this also was made specifically for a medicine cabinet. So you can kind of see how um, narrow it is and it's got two sections. The shelf liner from Walmart. I'm going to check if there's one similar to it or the exact one this brand on Amazon and I'll put the link in the description box. It is gray and white marble. I'm going to put it on the back wall of this medicine cabinet. Doesn't that look good? I like it. And so it usually is squared off here right and then this is kind of rounded so I just take an X-Acto knife and just cut around so you can see I still have to do this one. Let me try to do this one-handed. And you 
you just pull it off. There you go. And then I did the bottom corner there and the other one there. Okay, so here it is all done. As I said, I kept the hooks here with the nail cutter and I just got a key ring for the tweezers there. That's what it looks like with the shelf liner in the back. Let's start with this bottom shelf. These are actually candle holders from Target and I kept the sunscreen because most of our guests who come here to Phoenix don't realize to bring sunscreen so I just have that there. And then this is holding cotton pads and they fit perfectly in there as you can see and of course when they're used up I'll just replenish it. I'll keep the back up under the sink and then this one holds cotton swabs. Again just the right height to see the swabs and to see the pads and to see the sunscreen. This also had another shelf but I don't need it and so on this shelf I have this vanity organizer again also from Target and you can kind of see what it holds. It has this divider here and a wider one and then a larger area. So here I decided to put face masks and I got two of each kind. So this is a shimmering cream mask. This is coffee scrub and mud mask. And then I got this detoxifying one. So I got that and then I found this. I wanted to put nail polish remover in here because that is something I find that I always need somehow on vacation. And I never have it, of course, because it's an extra liquid to bring. But I found these, they are nail polish remover pads. So I'm not sure how well they work since I just got them, but they fit perfectly there. And I thought instead of fussing with the bottle and the liquid and a pad, why not just try this? And then I've also found that a lot of times I forget, let's say like a body spray. And so I decided to provide this also again from Target and these were a good price. I think they were $10 or under so many different types of um, scents. It's a body spray with essential oils and this is called Magnolia Violet. The brand is Good Chemistry. Of course for the men I have to have shaving cream and post shave balm and again with this candle holder I just put some disposable razors. Of course you can put a nice razor there if you want but I thought that is might be a little bit more sanitary, but if you put a different type of razor, make sure to change out the blades. All right, so that is the updated, refreshed, decluttered, organized medicine cabinet in our guest bathroom. Please leave a comment below and let me know what are your tips for organizing your medicine cabinet. We are a community of people who want to organize, so your tip or your suggestion might help somebody, might help me. I will read all your comments and I try to reply to each one of them. So, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!